Yes. Okay, first we're going to look at the kind of interview stage of the fight. Fights very seldom kick off when the guy just comes in and whacks you. There's normally a little bit of preamble where the guy is going to front you up in some way uh, in a challenging and aggressive manager, uh, manner. So here, Joe's in my face like so. Now, I'm going to position myself like so. Left leg forward, right leg back. That better defends my groin and gives me more room to do a few techniques. First one we're going to do is Bravo Chuck. So from this position into the Bravo Chuck. Hands up like this. Tell the guy, look mate, I don't mean any problems. I didn't mean any problems. Bang, move to this position quickly. Squeeze him. Now here, if you can just zoom into my hands here, please. I'm using the gable grip, not this. There I'm just using four fingers. The gable grip, I use all five digits, squeeze in, do a little rotation. Squeeze the elbows together, breathe in, he feels the pain. Now I want to take this guy down from here, so I'm going to keep doing this. I lift up my elbow, step behind like this, then roll the shoulders forward, then I can take off or I can discuss with him the error of his weight. So number one there, the Bravo choke. The second technique we're going to look at uh, the head squeeze, very unpleasant technique for the guy on the end of it. So Joe again confronts me. I get the same position on like this, close in fence. May I didn't mean any trouble. Then I move here, squeeze the head. Now, rake the eyes like this. Go across the line of the guy's eyes. If you want to hit his eyes, up to you, fair enough. Or you can just go across like so. Hit the back of his neck, palm down. I move my head to the side. Left hand under right like so, gable grip again. I have my head at this angle and I squeeze into him. There, he doesn't feel much. Here, it's like I'm giving him a wee embrace. Put the neck at this angle here, squeeze in. Check out the foot. As I do this, I drive the heel up. I come like so, I'm sorry mate. Now here, to finish him off, bang, get a couple of knees in, or I just turn like so drop him down and then I can take off or again chat with him the error of his weight. So technique number two. Now same thing again in nice and close. I'm going to do something here called the mask. I'm in position like so, grab him like that, I can take his throat or a few options there. So heel of the hand hits his temple this angle. Thumb under his nose, very weak part of the body. You try and move into me there, Joe, he's not going to get anywhere. So I get the thumb under the nose like this, index finger in his eye, I pull his head back. At the same time, I might step on his, his uh, foot like so, grab his arm here. His balance is pretty heavily compromised. I can just take him down from here. If I'm feeling particularly aggressive, I can give him a little shove in the throat on the way down as well. Just one more time with the mechanism there. In. Strike through like this, bang, I can knock him this way. Then I can take a step to the side here, drop him down there, do whatever I fancy. You can just work a few options around that one, but it's all based here, as Joe can show you on me, like so. Bend the finger, you can really push the back. When it gets the guy back to here, there's not too many places he can go. All right, except unless he runs away like that. Okay, so, now, Let's do one where he comes in. He's got the hands down, and I'm back in a more traditional fence like this. And okay, mate, I don't want any problems. But the guy obviously still does want to play. So he comes in a little bit, pull and push into choke like so. Step back, apply the choke. So here, push the guy's shoulder. But the real thing which twists him is my pulling his elbow like this. So my right hand goes here towards his left shoulder. The left hand grabs the elbow, twist him. I step behind with the left leg very quickly. The back of my hand lifts up like so and get the bony bit of the wrist here in his throat. Gable grip, step back. In reality, I turn like this so he can't take a shot in my eyes. There, he can do me. So I turn like so, breathe in, use the right shoulder to push his head down and I get a nice little choke. If he tucks in, I can just do the nose and take him there and then I can smack him to the ground. Okay, thank you. Uh, a variation on this, let's do it this way. This time, he fronts me up, but he has the right shoulder back. 
So you could be getting set up to give me a nice right-hander there. And also I can't reach there, so I'll do something different here. From the fence, mate, I don't mean any trouble. Grab like so, step behind, and then here. Let's go ahead and show that one again. Sorry, mate. And here, pull the guy's head towards you. Bony bit goes under, back of the hand here. Put the bicep underneath the hand. The hand goes on the back of the head. I step back, tuck him like so, and then I squeeze. This pushes his head down, clench the, f <laughs> as you can tell, this is very uncomfortable. And I clench and breathe in. Now, okay, this is a very unpleasant technique. Okay, so be careful when you apply that one. Let's do one more variation from that position. Here, Joe, <coughs> excuse me, is fronting me up like so. I don't want to go in the choke, I want to get this guy down nice and quick. So I do the same technique here, drop him down. So, the left hand goes back in his nose. I pull his head toward me, start pushing it down, apply the pressure on the nose. Step in with the right foot and here visualize cutting the guy in two with your arm like so and keeping the downward pressure. So, very effective little technique for getting the guy down quickly. Strike, pull, and here, you will drop it. Okay, just a quick couple more techniques to go through to finish off this lecture. He fronts me up again like this. All right, I want to strike the guy this time and get rid of him nice and quick. Marutozuki here. Left hand comes out like so, solar plexus. Little tuck in like this. At the same time, in reality, I might be hitting his throat when you train just for the sternum. So strike like so, grab. Big aggressive grab. In reality, get the skin, the chest here. When you train, just get the t-shirt. Then what I'm gonna do is pull here, push like so, I might turn around like that way, bang, get a headbutt in, strike in the knee, whatever you fancy. So it's a very effective technique when you're in close. Bang like this, bang, headbutt, pull, push, get a couple of knees in, pulling down, knee, whatever you fancy. It's a nice little introduction, all right, to Moro Tezuki for the guy. Last one, very simple one. If I wanna get rid of the guy very quickly here. Mate, I don't want any trouble. Elbow strike, like so. Now note here, he's moving in very close. I'm gonna drop an elbow strike there in his sternum. Even without doing this with any power, you see what happens to his balance like so. If I do it properly, bang, this can cause the guy a real issue. So turn the body in like so, push away, get a couple of knees in, then move on the way. So, there's a variety of preemptive moves and strikes for you. Thank you very much. Peace.